Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. Now that the introduction video is done, I've shown you how to play, I've shown you what the game is like. It is time to get into the cup battles and actually play some real matches now of Super Mario Strikers. I'm very excited. We're going to start off with the Mushroom Cup, the first one of four that we have to do. We have Mushroom Flower Star and Bowser Cup. Then we have the Super Cup variants after that. Um, unlike other Mario sports games that have a progressive level of difficulty, whereas the Mushroom Cup would be against really easy computer opponents, then the Flower Cup would be against slightly harder, the Star Cup against harder, and so on and so on, this game actually allows you to customize pretty much everything from the get-go. You can actually set your difficulty higher. However, I am going to simulate what the other Mario sports games do, and I'm going to have that progressive difficulty. So I'm going to start out on Rookie, which is pretty easy. I'm going to move up to Professional in the Flower Cup, Superstar in the Star Cup, I don't really know if I'll ever get to legend difficulty. That is so hard. Like I, I just get destroyed right now. But hey, maybe if I notice that I'm getting better as I'm playing this game more for a let's play, then maybe I'll move up that far. But anyway, I'm just going to start on rookie for right now. Five minutes is good. Power-ups on, Super Strike on, Rumble on, and Bowser attack on. Yeah, that's right. Bowser's role in this game is actually not a character. This is actually not Bowser. Um, he His role is to come crashing down randomly during matches and make all sorts of random chaos and craziness happen. It's, cra it's really fun when he shows up. It also causes a lot of slowdown. But anyway, I'm going to start out with Mario for our first cup here. For future cups, I am going to have you vote on both the captain I use and the sidekicks I use. Um, but I'm going to start out with Mario and the Toads, so that should be interesting. I'm eventually going to try to use everyone, or use as many as I can anyway. So, let's get started. This is the Mushroom Cup here. Kind of a four-player tournament on a table here. And you get, um, yeah, you, it kind of displays the score system at the bottom. You get, the next patch will be Mario versus Waluigi. Says. So that's that seems interesting. Looks like a little round robin tournament that we have. Yeah, place third or higher to unlock the next cup battle. Obviously, want to place first. I don't want to place third or higher. One other thing that I brought up, um, or that I failed to bring up in the intro video rather, is that you can actually play with four players on the same team, or you can do three versus one, or two versus two, or any combination. So it's actually pretty cool how customizable that is. It's really fun actually to go against some really hard computer difficulty with four players all working on one team. So anyway, it looks like we're on the Pipeline Central today. There's a bunch of different fields in Super Mario Strikers. However, as Waluigi makes his way out to the court. Um, or the field, rather. i got to get my terminology down now, my football terminology. Here we go. Um, but there actually isn't much difference between the actual stadiums. Other than, look at this, taunting trash talk to start the game off. Mario showing some moves there. I don't know where he kicks. He just boots that ball. Um... So anyway, we're going to get started. Yeah, there's not much difference. All right, this is an actual game. i got to pay attention. This isn't. Um, there actually isn't much difference between all of these stadiums here in uh, Super Mario Strikers. But, um, yeah, they, they all function pretty much the same. There's nothing like, you know, cer so many certain ones have, like, electric fences or certain ones have other things or tilting hazards or anything like that. They all pretty much work the same. And look at that. Mario with a goal to start things off. I gotta get my goal chance down. Let's see a replay of this. First goal of the match, only 21 seconds in. A little weak shot. I didn't think that had much chance, but gets by Critter, and that is a goal! Oh, 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 oh. I gotta have plenty of those lined up. Oh, boy. No, no one yells at me. Everyone's like, what are you screaming about in there? Anyway. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on, I gotta chase this ball down. I wanna get it down to the corner. Uh, it can be tricky, though. If you get an offensive player on a breakaway, like Waluigi, all by himself, um, since I am not in control of all the other characters and what everyone is doing, the computer controls a lot of them, sometimes they can do things that you really don't want them to do. Oh, man, that's a good strategy, too, in this game, is to take a shot at the net. <laughs> I'll take a free. I'll, I'll give him an item. That's fine. That's fine. Um, a good strategy is to take a shot to the net and then actually... Um, oh, and another goal from Toad! And actually catch the rebound off of Critter's hands. And look at this, Toad put burying another goal from the side there. Goal number one for Mario, sidekicks that curve around Critter, and that is a goal! Ugh, I'm not going to do that every time, just the first few times. I think the novelty will wear off after a while. All right, here we go. Come on, let's keep the pressure on. No reason to step off right now. You can see that this easy computer difficulty isn't proven to be much of a challenge. Knock everyone down with some shells there. And with use Toad, oh, that was a good one-timer, but nothing doing on that one as Critter gets the ball to Waluigi, who gets immediately checked into the, uh, the fence. One thing I didn't mention is you notice my items at the top. I can actually press Z to switch the order in which I use the items. Uh-oh, Waluigi with a steal, but I'm going to take that one right back. 
Pass it to Mario. He's going to shoot. No, blocked by Crito. That was a pretty easy shot, though. I didn't expect much with that one. Come on, run. Oh, Toad's so slow. <laughs> Not as fast as Waluigi, if you've noticed. Waluigi able to easy. Oh, it's Bowser. It's Bowser. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, balls. Oh, no. Get the ball. Block the ball. No, it's went in off the post. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Get out of there. Please, please. Let's just run away. Let's just get the ball. Oh, no. Waluigi's all alone. Waluigi's all alone. No, it's there. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that one didn't go in. Okay. Got to keep the pressure on. Got to keep the pressure on. See, even even if you are winning in this game and everything looks to be fine, that's what happens. The chaos. Oh, no, Birdo with a steal down low and a rebound. Wow. Wow, I can't believe no, a goal didn't go in there. Okay, I'm playing sloppy all of a sudden. See, I got a lead, and now all of a sudden I start playing, like, really sloppy. I'm like, oh, I, I guess I can take my time and kind of goof around. It's like, no. This is Super Mario Strikers, even on rookie difficulty. Getting a run for my money here, but look at that. Toad adding some insurance there with a goal, a steal right there, and a quick shot curving around Critter, and a goal. Something I told you I've noticed more often is goals from the sidekicks actually going in when you're like way in the back here. Because you have that extreme curve on the ball, uh, you'll actually see the sidekick goals going in a lot more often than maybe than they should, but I anyway, gotta try a super strike here to bury things. There we go. What a way to open things up. How about that for Mario's team? A perfect super strike. Knocking Critter into the net for two goals there with a super strike. I thought that was a good opportunity. I was all alone there on the side. Didn't look like the defense was doing anything about it. And how about that? That's five goals so far. Five, five nil. When do you think you'd see this in a football game? Probably never. But this is why it's Super Mario Strikers, not just regular old normal football. Look at that. That was set up easy, easy in front of the net right there. Rookie difficulty not doing very much in the way of defense. But this is kind of how I want things to play out. Things are seeming really easy right now. Rookie isn't all that challenging, but then you get higher and higher and higher, and you'll see the progression, believe me. So in the Mushroom Cup, we have four matches of this, so it should be a lot of fun. And here we go, slow motion shot by Toad, blocked by Critter that time. All right, let's see if Waluigi's team can get anything done on offense here. Alberto with a good shot from the from far away on the side there, but no, gets checked. I love, I love that. I'm talking about a football match or a soccer match. And I'm saying the so and so gets checked into the face. It's like, what am I even playing? This is seriously what's happening in the game. Anyway, uh, we actually got a mushroom. Mushrooms seem like useless items. You might have noticed that. You're like, well, mushrooms don't really seem all that good. But actually, um, mushrooms give you that little burst of speed, and if it's used at the right time, it can get your captain alone to set up for a super strike, or it can actually um, allow you to slide tackle, which is when you press B on defense, and you go probably about like four times what the normal range would be. And Waluigi not, you know what I'm noticing, he's not using his items at all. I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, so there's really, when a character, oh, he just used some. Um, generally, when a character doesn't use their items often, oh, he is using his items, slowly but surely. But when a character, it brings up a good point, when a character doesn't use their items very often, you can actually get all these free checks in and all that type of stuff without any penalty. And there's a loose ball shot there. If there's a loose ball, you can press B to walk up to it and do a quick one-time shot to maybe catch the goalie off guard. Nothing doing there. Let me control that toad. Oh, I couldn't get the shutout. Couldn't get the shutout in the first match. Did not switch to the toad that I want. I wanted to control the one over there. And it was like, no, you can't control that one. I'm like, why not? I want to get that one. Oh, well, Waluigi gets his team on the board, but I think it's going to be a little late for that here. Looks like it's 6-1. to one. They have quite the deficit to overcome. Not that it's not possible in Mario Strikers, but unlikely, as it would seem. I'm just going to play a little defensively there to waste some time. But Birdo able to intercept that one at the center line. Uh-oh, Mario breaking down the middle with a perfect cow. Oh, he's right in front of the goal. He's right in front of the goal. How could that one not go in? Twitter scratching his head on that one. How could a character get so open so down low in front of the net. Look, he couldn't even attempt. Totally scratching his head on that play. Just as coach drew it up. Just as coach drew it up. That was fantastic. And that, I think, is probably going to close things out here. I don't know if we'll get any more scoring chances after that. Oh, man. Toad. Oh, but Shell is still ricocheting around. Toad's trying to boot the ball out of here, but Waluigi able to corral it down there at the center. I want to get this ball out of here. There's only eight seconds left. Just need to run the time off the clock, and that'll be it. A good one for Mario to start the day. That's it. I'm not going to have to get the ball. 1-0. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Mario's team, which is kind of weird that the teams don't have team names anymore. Uh, they reintroduced that back in uh, Mario Strikers Charged, I believe. Or Mario Strikers Charged Football, as you know it, is the Wii sequel to this game. But um, yeah, Waluigi, that highlight, I guess, has to be one of the match highlights because it was the only goal scored by his team. That header was brutal. That was a brutal header right there. Fantastic. You won't see these characters flopping. When you watch some football matches, you see characters barely get touched and they flop over a little bit. You won't see anyone doing that in Super Mario Strikers. If Bomb goes off, they get right back up and start playing again. Anyway, there's some uh, little statistics there. 25 hits and 24 shots. Ouch. Ouch. You can see just how outmatched Waluigi was in that match. So anyway, let's, let's move right into the next one. Let's not waste any time. I'm probably going to do two per video is the way I, I thought I'd, I'd play it out here. So let's go with Mario right here and Daisy. It looks like we're playing in the underground right now. Let's see if Mario's streak can continue here. I got three points for winning that match in convincing fashion. I am in first place. Daisy looks like she lost her match. So she is in fourth place. So now the first place team goes against the fourth place team. And let's see what we got here. We're at the underground. So let's do it. All right, Daisy, let's see what you can do. Oh, and Hammer Bros. We haven't seen the Hammer Bros yet. Kind of interesting that the Hammer Bros are playable in this game. Before um, Mario Baseball, they really didn't get much screen time as playable characters. And Toad getting in from way downtown. That's a basketball there. From downtown. But seriously, that's what happens. First goal of the match, 10 seconds in. Wow, I guess I, I didn't have to wait very long to start taking the lead in this match. As Toad, look at these big hits here on the Hammer Brothers. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Oh, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect pass to Mario to set up for a goal. Maybe I shouldn't have gone on rookie difficulty for the Mushroom Cup, but no, it's appropriate. I'll move up to professional. Then you guys will be able to see the jump in difficulty. But uh, yeah, you know, it, it's kind of interesting to see Hammer Brothers as playable sidekicks in this game. They have weird voices too that I don't think are, you see at all outside of this game. And you can actually control Critter there when he does corral the ball like that. Just for a little bit though, he did automatically throw it back in there. Oh no, Daisy's on a breakaway. Daisy on a breakaway. Yeah, that, that, one was, that didn't look good. That didn't look good. Getting a little too aggressive there. And Daisy with a goal. Lots of scoring early in this match already. All right, let's get some stuff going here. Come on, Toad with a big shot. How did that go in? Another goal. Another goal. The crowd goes wild. Oh, man. See, this is part of the reason why I wish football were so, was popular in the United States. Uh, soccer, then, not American football which isn't football at all, it's just, it's pigskin, that's what they should call it. But anyway, I don't know why um, it's not popular, it's such an intense sport. Um, I mean, I have my theories, I'll talk about that in another video, I have my theories as to why it's not, but I mean, as far as the fandom is concerned, and the level of commitment, and the level of just die-hard fans there are in, in this sport, like, there's no reason why it shouldn't catch on in the, in the U.S., but the MLS just kind of insists on being, which is Major League Soccer, the United States uh, Soccer League, the official soccer league, just insists on being the uh, <laughs> the minor leagues for everything going on in Europe and uh, other parts of the world. So, anyway, uh, look at this offensive effort by Mario here. Another shot on net. Use some red shells to hopefully slow him down, but Daisy able to jump over that one. Now, see, here's where you can use items to your advantage. I can use Mario, and I want to go for a super strike, but look at all these defenders around me. Ha <laughs> ha! No defenders any longer. Oh, ho, ho. so close to a perfect super strike, but oh, oh, blocked by Critter, but it stuns him. Can I get the ball on that quickly? Yes! Before Critter could recover. That is big. If you're able to stun the goalkeeper, which will happen sometimes with an effective super strike or just a really powerful shot directed right at the keeper, sometimes you will stun him, and you can see just exactly how critical that is sometimes because you can do things like that. If you can get the ball back, get out of here. If you can get the ball back before um, the other team, it, or before Critter is able to regain control, you can do stuff like that. You can just do, uh, get that ball out of here. All right, it looks like Daisy's got a bomb. Daisy's got some potent items, though. Daisy's got a bomb and a star. I'm not liking the sounds of that very much. Get out of here. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm letting them get a lot on. Oh, no, what? I just missed the ball. Get that ball out. Get the ball out. There we go. Boot that down there. No offsides. Don't have to worry about anything like that. So, ugh. 
Where's this going? Ah, uh, see, that's the only problem I have with this game. I see is that since you don't, you're not in control directly of all the characters. Sometimes they move in ways you don't want them to. Like right now, I would love to have a three-man attack and one-man stay on defense. But see, when you start getting way up here, then sometimes generally they'll do that. But see, in this situation, now now there was a two-on-one right there. Luckily, rookie difficulty can't. Oh, they can't. <laughs> They can't take advantage of that as well as uh, other levels of computers, but it kind of sets up for some awkward situations sometimes. But anyway, I guess that's what you what you expect with four on four soccer. And then they cut the deficit now to two. Let's see if I can get that right back up there. Oh, knocking Hammer Brother down with that shot, throwing his body in front of the ball there. All right, come on, get that in. Do I buy bananas? Bananas aren't going to be very helpful. Hammerbro gets the ball. Hammerbro's got a weird voice clip in this game, too. His voice is very bizarre. I don't think it's used again at all. I'm pretty sure this is the only game where Hammer Brother actually sounds like that, so it's kind of interesting. All right, come on. Tamario sets up for... Oh, oh it's a Toad. But Hammer Brother able to intercept that. Um, oh, Toad sacrificing himself for his team. That's what I'm talking about. Take one for the team, Toad. There we go. Let's get a loose ball shot there. Get that ball. Ah, Critter able to get it. You cannot hit Critter with anything, as you might have been able to tell. Um, Critter is completely invulnerable to... Oh, there's a lob shot there. That's interesting. Critter completely invulnerable to attacks or anything like that. I don't think I showed that off. You can do a lob shot just like a lob pass if you hold L and press the B button. It's very situationally useful. It is useful if, you're, uh, if you notice that the opponent's goalkeeper steps way out of the net. But for the most part, when you do a lob shot like that, they can just corral it easily. And it's not really that big of an issue. Uh oh Daisy all by herself there. Able to take a brutal shot on net, but nothing doing it. For Daisy's team, i got to make up team names now. Mario wide open down below. Here we go. The acrobatic spinning kick, but does not go in. The keeper able to get that one out of the net. Get out of here. Get out of my house. Super strike. Oh, so close again. So close again to a perfect strike. But a stun. A stun. Oh, I can't, can't capitalize. It doesn't look like on that stun. Hammer a big hit there. Big strike. All right, come on. Let's try that again. Mario with a header. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way too far over down low there. If you notice, it might seem like the computer character can't really do much about that, but if you see that being set up, if I'm the player and I see that being set up by my opponent, you just got to hit Mario down whatever way you can. You just strike him down. Let's get Hammer Brother into the fence there. There we go. Lots of electrifying hits here in Super Mario Strikers. That's what I like to see. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, let's see. Where's Mario? I want to get a pass to Mario. I want to use a mushroom to create some space, get a super strike going here. Uh, not a perfect one, but let's see if this one can do some damage. It can! That's two goals! Two goals for Mario's team. That's so broken. That super strike mechanic is so good. And even it, it's way worse than Mario Strikers Charge. I have to say, that's the only thing. I think Mario Strikers Charge, in general, is a better game than Super Mario Strikers. Look at that. Another goal by Mario's team. I love that celebration. I like the uh, when players run around with their arms spread like an airplane. That's fantastic. Um, but, yeah, that's where Super Mario Strikers, I think, struggles over, over this game, where it's not quite as good. The Super Strike in that game is way more broken than it is in this game. But that's it for now. I'm just going to let the clock wind down. going to put the ball down, and that'll be it for this match of Super Mario Strikers and for the first half of the Mushroom Cup. Mario able to defeat Daisy convincingly. 8-2. to two. Look at that super strike goal going in as one of the match highlights. Critter had no shot at that one. Let's check out another one of the highlights. Mario able to go along the side here, and that was right at the end of the game, able to get that goal in there. A little electrifying there, too. I kind of set up for a little bit of a super strike. I probably could have done one, but hey, it all worked the same there. And Toad, highlight of the match, that was an improbable goal, so that was great. And look, you can see the, st the stats there. Uh, Daisy with more shots than Waluigi, so I guess she did better on that one. But yeah, overall, uh, that, was, uh, that was a dominant performance for Mario's team to start the Mushroom Cup. Can Mario continue his trend in the Mushroom Cup? We'll find out next time in Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. This is Shadow Mario 41. This is Super Mario Strikers. I will see you guys next time for more... Mario Strikers action.